Next, we will add a spreadsheet to the bottom partition of our dashboard to show an itemized account of our data. Click the Spreadsheet button on the Item Toolbar. The system will ask us to choose a location for our spreadsheet. Do make sure that the entire bottom partition is highlighted and not just a portion. Click on the bottom partition of our dashboard. This will then bring up the new spreadsheet pane. The new spreadsheet pane will ask us to enter a name for our spreadsheet, select a data source, and choose a display style for our spreadsheet. First, let's name our spreadsheet Sales Area Spreadsheet. Next, since our data source was uploaded as a private data source, make sure the Private Data Source Radio button is selected, then choose DS underscore Area Sales from the list. To know more about private and shared data sources, go to the Shared and Private Item section. Next, click on the Edit button to edit our data for the spreadsheets. This will bring up the Data Source Editor pane with the Spreadsheet tab selected. Listed on this portion are the items that will be included in our spreadsheet. We can remove unnecessary items by clicking the trash bin icon that shows up when we move our mouse on top of that field. Let's remove Country, Latitude, Longitude, and Year. If you've mistakenly removed an item, you can drag and drop it back from the item list. Let's drag year back to the items we wish to display on our spreadsheet. Next, we need to determine how our data is sorted. To do so, change the sort order for year to 1 and month to 2. This will tell Motion Board to sort the items based on the year first, then the month. Lastly, we should add a currency sign to items that depicts a monetary value. To do so, click the pencil icon that pops up when we move our mouse over to the top of the item. This will bring up the Spreadsheet Output Format Settings pane. To enable formatting the field, we need to first tick the checkbox for Enable Format and then type the currency symbol on either the prefix or suffix field. Type dollar in the prefix field. Since we want to clearly represent the numbers by thousands, let's also tick the checkbox for comma separated. Press OK to finalize our settings. Repeat the process for the remaining three fields. You can check the display on the Preview pane. Then, click OK to close the Data Source Editor pane. This will take us back to the new Spreadsheet pane. All that is left to do is to select our Spreadsheet's display style. Click the List View icon. Click the OK button to close this pane. And that is how you create a spreadsheet on Motion Board. Also, you can quickly change the type of spreadsheet displayed in our dashboard by clicking this icon.